All right, don't get triggered at the title of this video. I know what you're thinking. There is no way that Google Bard is better than ChatGPT. But in this video, we're gonna talk about why Google Bard, for specific things, is actually better than ChatGPT. Now we're not talking about Bing AI. Comparing Bing AI to Google Bard is a completely different nugget. Nugget, I like chicken nuggets. Spicy chicken McNuggets, they're back. I love nuggets. Anyways, here are the three main reasons that Google Bard is better than ChatGPT. All right, the first and most important thing that people need to know about Google Bard is that the reason ChatGPT is trying to implement all these plugins, especially ones that can like look at the web now, is because Google Bard is constantly trained on new information. It is one trained on more information at the start. So if you ask Google Bard, why are you better than ChatGPT? One of the reasons is that it's trained on a massive data set of text and code, and it's able to process info through real world Google search. So the fact that it can do this is pretty big and while the like language model you could say of ChatGPT and like what it outputs is a little bit better in my opinion the data that it's getting its information from isn't as real time as google bard who would have thought google as a product had something that would have incorporated google search into its ai crazy i know number two it gives you more and faster outputs so if i were to put something pretty intense here like write me a five-step business plan for starting a Notion consulting business. I'm gonna keep talking through this because in real time, what you're able to see here is that it's going to spit out something decent in a short period of time. ChatGPT is pretty slow, unless you're on like 3.5 turbo. And this spit out all of this within a few seconds. And on top of that, it gave me three versions of it. So if I go to draft one, two, and three, you can see that there is actually some different options here. So it's giving me a lot more information, right? So all these different things are applicable and some of them have overlap. So for example, if we look at identify your target market and niche, develop your services, create a marketing plan, build your team and scale your business, that's five steps. Slightly different, it has manage your finances. And on the bottom here, some additional tips. Get certified, join a community, network and be patient. Those are different than choose a niche, build a reputation, stay up to date with the latest trends. So it's giving you a lot of different options right out the gate. So the fact that it sped out this much within the 10, 15 seconds is way more than ChatGPT would do. So if you're looking for you to not have to reprompt a bunch of different times to spark new ideas, it is totally fine to use Google Bard. And another reason that I'm gonna get into is because Google Bard is fully functional for free. So I'm not sure how long this will be the case. It definitely could be for the long term, because, you know, Google. And ChatGPT4 is awesome, but I'm able to use it because I'm on the Plus plan, which cost me 20 bucks a month. Now, for those of us that are looking for a more cost-effective and high volume and high speed output option, Google Bard kind of is winning in this category. And not acknowledging it is a bit of a just brushing it under the, you know, we're just saying, yeah, yeah, fine, that's fine. But it's the truth. More output, it's free, it's quicker, and it's trained on more data that's updated in real time and is also able to reference Google search. So it's not only ChatGPT is the main winner and it's the best and like this competition is gonna be good for us. Just like it's gonna be good for you to check out this video on how to improve your productivity even more.